this is how the simulator of Circuitverse works. I'm going to select a component, I'm going to select a multiplexer, and I'm going to place it over here. And then over here I see the properties of the selected chip. So what I want is for this to have three control signals, by default it has only one. So I'm going to click twice over here. And so now my control signal size is three. So there are three control signals over here, although it's showing them as one. And then I have eight inputs over here on this side. Next, I'm going to select uh, an output, something that indicates output. I'm going to select this one that's just a probe. And then I'm going to connect it by simply clicking over here, holding the button down, and then releasing it right here to make the connection. Next, I'm going to give an input to uh, the multiplexer. And so I'm going to select the inputs here. There are a bunch of them. There's a constant value. But then there is also an input that I can toggle. So I'm going to select this one and place it right here. And then I am going to select another one and place it over here. And another one and place it over here. Uh, but if I don't want to keep doing that, I can hold my shift key down and select all of these three. And then control C for copy and then control v for paste and then i have uh, all of these over here so i can move them like that and i need let me see i have three six i need two more i'm going to paste some more so i'm going to put this one over here this one over here and this one i don't need so i'm going to select it and then hit the delete button over here that deletes it next i'm going to make connections again by clicking over here, holding the button down, and then releasing it right here. Again. Like that. And now I need to provide control inputs to this. So I'm going to need one more, place it over here, and connect it from here to here. Now, I do get this error over here that says that I only have one bit, but this one is expecting three bits. So I'm going to click on this, and then I'm going to go over here and say that my bit width is three, and now it should be fine. Now, the simulator is running. The moment that you complete your circuit, there is nothing to click for running a simulator. So unless you have an error, like the one that I had before, uh, where the bit width uh, for the input to, for the address input to the multiplexer was not matching, the simulator would not run. But if I don't have any error, then it will run. So you see, in this case, I have connected 0, 0, one 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 zero one one to these inputs and then here i have selected the input zero therefore my output probe is showing this input that has been selected to pass to the output so if i go and click on these so you see now i have the input combination two so line number two this one is the one that's going to pass to the output and therefore my probe is showing a one and so I can keep clicking. Um, and for example, if I select five, so one here and zero here, then I have selected the input line five, which carries a zero, and the output is going to be zero. Now I can still go and toggle these things and see if I keep toggling the input, then the output will follow that input because that is the input that has been selected to pass to the output. If I change this and then I keep toggling this, that's going to have no effect because this is not the input that was selected to pass to the output. And that is it, as simple as that.